Welcome to the End Times Guide podcast. Great to have you along for the ride today. Gorgeous Wednesday morning in Washington, heading towards Idaho. Blue skies, and I just love the fall. The colors are more vibrant. The sky is brighter. Leaves are starting to turn already. Um, And I'll tell you what, when the truck is cool at night, it sure is easier to sleep. Slept like a baby last night. Woke up feeling a lot more refreshed. I want to tell you a tale today of two fathers. You see, there were two young women who were pregnant and gave birth on the same night to baby boys. Another woman was old enough or ready to become a mom. So they did the right thing. They gave the baby up for adoption. And both of these children went into the care of the government who found foster homes to place them into. One was with a good father and the other was with a wicked father. How did the government have any way of knowing this? They didn't. Um, Both fathers presented themselves as being good and competent and reliable. And the government trusted that and placed both children in their care. Now, they raised their children in a very different manner. The good father insisted that his son keep himself clean. He had rules. He had chores. And when he got in trouble, his father would allow him to reap the um, consequences of that trouble. Whatever it was he was in, if he stole something small, if he got in a fight at school, His father would expect him to face the consequences of what he'd done wrong. The wicked father was quite different. He thought his son's mischief was amusing. And he assured his son that it was natural for boys to get in trouble. And as a result, his son began to get in more and more trouble. And by the age of 13, the police were bringing him home from serious crimes. But the evil father didn't seem bothered by this and continued to assure the son that this was normal behavior for a young man. He never had to take a bath. He was never forced to eat vegetables. He was never disciplined. He was never forced to do well in school and as a result dropped out in grade nine. He had a tremendous amount of freedom to do whatever he pleased. And he was allowed to eat all the junk food he wanted. He really felt like he had a good life. The other father insisted his son eat what is healthy and disciplined him accordingly. And although his life seemed more difficult, he knew that these things were because he was loved. Now, each of the boys received a monthly allowance from the government for their care. And the boys grew up quite different. The boy who grew up with a good father grew up well, knowing wrong from right, and wanted to go out into the world to do good, to make the world a better place, to take the love, the truth, the training that he received as a child, and use that to help others in their struggles. The other son who grew up with a wicked father saw the world only as a resource that he could take advantage of. He was a user. He he could figure out ways of getting money out of old people's pockets, out of young children's lunch money. He was a con artist. He thought nothing of giving and only of taking back. 
Now, the boys reached the age of maturity at, at 19 years of age. They were no longer under the care of the government system and would no longer receive money from the government. It was time for them to become adults. Now, the good father sat his son down, and on the table before him was a folder that was rather thick. And he sat down and said, son, you are no longer a boy. You are a man. Now, the government has been giving me this money for the past 19 years for your care. And I have been taking that money and investing it on your behalf. And the investments have done very well. The father slid the portfolio across the table. And the young man opened it up and saw that he was rather wealthy and would lack nothing. And the father went on to say, you are my son. You're not just a boy I've cared for, but I've taken you into my heart as a son. And I want to share my house with you. I want you to raise your family here and always be a part of my home. And the two embraced and their relationship continued on and on. Now the wicked father also sat his son down. And he held out a folder to his son and said, Now that you are 19, the government no longer gives me money for your care. You are a man and you are on your own. And the young man looked at his father, and he didn't see any mercy in him. He didn't see any glimmer of compassion. Rather, he saw the hard face of a businessman. And he realized all at once that his father had never loved him. His father had kept him so long as it benefited him, and now there was no benefit. He pleaded with his father to allow him to stay until he found work. And the wicked father scoffed. You're a good for nothing, he declared. No one would hire you. You're a thief and you're a liar. And I can't afford to care for you. I want you out of my house. The son was sick to his stomach and filled with fear. And he asked his father, can I pack some things? And the father laughed. You don't own anything. Even the clothes on your back are mine. I want them before you leave. And that poor wretch went out into the dark night naked with nothing. This parable is about two fathers. One can seem like a good father. But his motivation is entirely selfish. And at the end, he leaves you with nothing at all. The other father is a good father. He loves, he disciplines, he reproves. He insists that we keep ourselves clean and do our chores. But at the end, he invites us to be heirs with him in his home. Thanks for listening and God bless you.